What is up, fam? Welcome back to Leslie Jones Tarot. This reading here is for my Scorpio Zodiac signs. We're going to dive in and just see what messages come out for you, Scorpio. We'll clarify what's going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit. What's going on with my Scorpios? Overall energy for Scorpios. We have healing. Okay. And procrastination. All right. So some of y'all been avoiding healing. You've been putting it off. It's time to heal from a situation. Maybe there's a situation you've been in that things weren't working out. Things weren't falling through the way that they were supposed to. Now it's time to heal again. What's going on with Scorpio? And I know it sucks. It sucks. What's going on with Scorpio, please, Spirit? What is going on with my Scorpios, please, Spirit? What's going on with Scorpio? What is going on with my Scorpio? Wings. You never needed those wings to fly. Number eight, number 21, and then number 19, Lavender. Surround yourself with love. Okay, Scorpio, right now you need to be surrounding yourself with people that love you, that care about you, that have real, true, genuine love and care for you. Okay, that's what you need to be surrounding yourself by. Um, we're going to read the book on this one, though. Let's see. Number eight. Here we go. All right. You never needed those wings to fly. It seems like you're stuck in a never-ending cycle of self-doubt and self-criticism. When you tell yourself you can't do whatever you set your mind to, that's what we refer to as negative self-talk. And it is extremely toxic. Just as we expect others to treat us with kindness, we also need to treat ourselves with kindness. A bird can't fly away if you never let it out of its cage. Okay, this is about breaking free, Scorpio. This is that energy I've been feeling as well. It's about breaking free, letting go of old situation, old people, old relationships that aren't really... They seem to be like a repetitive cycle. They're not growing. They're not transforming. They're not benefiting you. They're not helping you um, either make more money, either grow into something better. Like if you feel like you've been stuck in a relationship or a connection or a situationship with somebody and it's not turning into anything more, it's not expanding into anything more, you know, it, it's time to let it go. If you feel like you're stuck, it's time to let it go and realize that you never needed that person anyway to begin with. So let's see. What's the wings with the healing card? Give me a couple cards here for Scorpio. Scream, ghost extremes for attention, past life karma. Some of y'all are releasing some type of past life karma right now. Um, this could also be a cycle, like a cycle that it's like you feel like you're about to lose your mind. You feel like, feel like things aren't working out, but you got the leveling up. Your life is about to change for the better. Scorpio, your life is about to change. Like you, you were holding on to something that you had to release and realize I never needed this so that your life could change so that your life could level up. Whether this is like moving towards a new relationship, a new business opportunity, new money, new success, you know, warm minded militant here. This is like a wind at all cost type of energy. This is also I'm getting with this warm minded militant. Don't let anybody or anything stop you from your healing, from moving forward. From setting yourself free. I've seen 333 on the phone. From like setting yourself free. You're about to level up. A lot of y'all have. <coughs> excuse me. A lot of y'all have either people or situations coming back in your life. That don't want to release you. They don't want to release you. They're holding on. Or this could be you. You could be holding on. You could be procrastinating and hold on to this. Knowing that it's time to let it go. But. Um. You could have been fighting like a never-ending war. This is like leveling up and wanting to bring people with you that aren't meant to go with you. And you're just kind of dragging yourself back down. We have forgiveness. Forgive yourself for this. For going against the grain. And prideful person. And again, it could be just because your pride, maybe your pride was in the way. Maybe your pride was telling you like, hey, no, this can work. I can make this work. I can help this person. I can do this Do this with this person. But somebody you needed to release because they weren't faithful. They weren't faithful. They weren't meant to be on your path. They, they weren't honest. We have the liar card, the X factor. Someone's uh, still caught up with an X needing to X people out of their out that are toxic there, there's a toxic person or dynamic here and the reason it's toxic because this person isn't honest they lie they cheat they steal 
And when you're on this vibration of like doing better, being a better person, healing and, and leveling up, you can't have dishonest people around you because that's just going to affect you. Like, for example, like if this person's already lying to you and y'all are in a relationship, what's going to happen when you get into a business contract? You know what I'm saying? Like if y'all go into business together, this person can lie to you about money that they've taken, money, that's, uh, sales, you know, people that they work with, all that type of energy. Twin flame. This could have been, you know, your twin. It could have been a twin flame connection. This is somebody you had a deep soul connection with. You are meant to meet this person. But at the same time, I feel like you're ready. You're meant to release this person. Pap smear. Someone needs to get checked. This person could have been sleeping with multiple people, not telling you, you know, lying about messing around with their ex, still being involved with an ex, not being honest with you. And this person here, stable woman, they have their ish together. They could have been connected to you because of what you have. Because of how stable you are. Jumping to conclusions. They could always say like, oh, you're just, you're jumping to conclusions. You're assuming things. You're you're just saying that because you think I'm, you know, you think that this is, this is what it is, you know. Some of y'all, you got in transition, shedding old layers. Some of y'all, y'all think like. You may have your stuff together, so you may assume that other people have their stuff together. That's not necessarily true either. Or maybe you thought you were fully healed, but you still have some work to do. I, that's one thing I realized about me. Like, I know I'm not fully healed, honey. Healing is an everyday thing. Like, I'm always constantly, I can, I can, I can heal from a lot of things, but there's always like triggers or flashbacks and stuff. And I realized like, wow, I need to still heal from that. And that's what a true healer does. Like, they can't sit up here and say, oh, I'm perfect. I'm healed from everything. No, like, I'm constantly healing. It's 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 an always evolving type of thing here. Give me another. What's going on with Scorpio? Playing with fire. What's going on with Scorpio? In transition, shedding old layers. Red flags. There were some red flags there. There's something that's being shown to you that you need to let go of that by keep dibbling and dabbling with this, it's just bringing more pain, more hurt. You know, forgive yourself. Maybe you were too prideful to let it go. Maybe you were saying to yourself, no, no, I need to hold on to this. I need to try to make this work or I can fix this. Or I really want this person in my life here. And this person just may not be good for you. Again, the card came out again. It's, it's about shedding old layers. This could be, you know, maybe it's like a baby daddy, baby mother, right? Oh, I have kids by this person, so I need to hold on to them. No, you don't. Because somebody has been manipulating a situation to keep somebody near them or merge them together. Black magic, someone's doing black magic, total eclipse, two souls merging together, and self-judgment. This could have been somebody manipulating, saying certain things like words, not matching their actions type of energy to get two people to come together. Um, but it's like somebody was questioning themselves, like, wait a minute, why don't I feel right? Why don't, why don't this feel authentic? Why isn't this the way that I think it should be? Overwork. Someone is doing way too much. It's because somebody was like putting in too much energy, time, effort here. Or somebody was trying to betray to be somebody that they weren't. And now somebody's realizing that somebody's been manipulating the situation to get what they want out of it. Wow. Here we go. Okay, give me a couple cards here for Scorpio, please, Spirit. Give me a couple cards here for Scorpio. I really, for, for example, me, I realized I met the same energy in a different body. That was my wake-up call. And I was like, wow, okay, there's still some things that I needed to heal from from that last situation. Because all it is is this is the same energy in a different body. Now I need to heal from this. So that's where I'm currently at. All right, what's going on with Scorpio? Some of y'all this could be some of y'all this could be a baby mother, baby father, okay? Yeah. You got parenting, focusing on your children and co-parenting. Some of y'all just focus on your children. Focus on your kids, focus on your family life that you currently have. Because some of y'all are dealing with a player. This person, they're in and out, they're inconsistent. Maybe they came off like they wanted a family dynamic. Maybe they came off like they wanted this together, stuff like that, but copycat this is somebody who knew how to play the game they knew how to show up like oh yeah i'm a family person i want to do this i want to do that but that's not true they're actually trash throwing away getting rid of and tossing out yeah 
I see you letting go of this person, releasing this person, moving on. Yeah, you know, already knowing the T and crush. And it's not saying that you don't have a crush on them and that you didn't feel some type of way insecure. But this could be an insecure individual or maybe you still had some type of insecurity that you needed to heal. This could have been what attracted you to this person or what attracted them to you. Anything else for Scorpio, please, Spirit? Ain't ish. Chasing is on the bottom of the deck with the success of lover. So this could be a karmic. There could have been a lesson that needed to be learned with this person here. You could be realizing now, like, this person could have showed up, like, in this armor, like this, you know, I'm this loving, devoted person. I'm going to fight for you. And they ended up being a player. What's going on with Scorpio? Grudge holder. Extra triggered. Wasting time. You may be holding a grudge against this person because you feel like they wasted your time, energy, and effort. What's going on? Tripping on you. Or this could be them. This could be them. Forcer. Forces staying on you. Forces their way in. Uses force to get what they want. And Queen Rising. You could be this person that's very, like, in their power. Someone that, that knows what it is that they want. Knows what it is. Knows who they are. Right? And so it's like, because you stand in this power and you're in the spotlight, they could have felt some type of way about this here. So they could have like tried to force, you know, force you to change or force you to accept things that you didn't want to accept. And this could have been you. Maybe they felt like you were forcing them to do something because you were so in your power. But I, I feel like it's more of you being confident within yourself. Moving on. Thank you. Next. Yeah. And now you're leaving them out in the cold. Broke butt. What's going on? Yeah, this person could have been intimidated, obsessive lover, dangerous, toxic, unhealthy, possessiveness, karmic, karmic friends. So yeah, this person, y'all could have met this person maybe through mutual friends or something like that. Others of you, this person could talk about you, like to their friends, unfazed, karmic friends, or like their friends say negative things about you. What's going on? Ego rejected somebody's ego is huge here somebody feels like they need to block somebody reject somebody dodging bullets here let go of somebody here sorry my lips are dry maybe you kept trying with this person thinking things would get better but that's when it became like a karmic relationship because it was kind of like it was already unhealthy. If this person wasn't giving you what you were giving, you kept pouring into them. You know, maybe you kept giving them money, cloud hungry, marrying for money. Maybe you kept giving them money, kept giving them your time, your energy, your effort. Cock blocking. You were kind of blocking your own blessing. Maybe your ego didn't want to believe that this person wasn't meant for you or that they weren't, you know, on the same level that you were on or wanting the same things that you wanted. But I see somebody rejecting something or someone. What's going on? Stalker, stalking, watching, obsessed. Caught a case. Some of y'all, this person is like stalking you or watching you. They could be watching you from a fake account, acting cold. But the thing is, they're, they're cold. They're distant. If you cut this person off, they could be like stalking and watching you as well. What's going on? nightmares somebody's not sleeping well bankrupt they feel like either you know cut this person off or they cut you off flip the rose but somebody feels like out in the cold from everything yeah boss be energy some of y'all really step some of y'all focus on your money your finances your career others of you this person like you either cut this person off and this person's not sleeping and and you're focused on your money so they feel some type of way or this is vice versa but somebody is obsessed with watching another person, stalking another person, seeing what they're up to, what they're doing. What's going on? Seeing if they have any new offers coming in or if they're dating anybody new. Fake flexing. Some of y'all are uninterested in this person because you feel like they just want you for money. Just want you for money for what you could give to them. 
Like this is somebody trying to leech on to your latch onto your your coattail, like trying to go where you're going, but they're not giving, they're not pouring into the situation here. They feel you healing and moving on and moving forward, and they feel some type of way. Forcer forces things on you, force their way in, you force to get what they want. Yeah, it's like creativity much. I told you. It's like they, they're trying to latch onto you or hold on to you because it's something that they get out of you, whether it's emotional, physical, spiritually, financially. They're able to get something out of you here. This is why they kept holding on or why they want to keep you from accepting any other offer because they feel like if you accepted any other offer, they wouldn't get this out of you here. So... Mm. Yeah, this person isn't who they appear to be either. So yeah, this person, it's, you can't trust this person. Karmic friends can't fully trust them. Tension, secret competition. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. And then ghosted, disappearing, ghosting in and out. And fake flex and acts rich, flosses money, acts fancy, shows off, etc. This is a person that kind of lives beyond their means. Like they're more worried about what their friends think of them who really aren't their friends. They could just be in competition with them here. But I see you either ghosting this person, releasing this person, and accepting a new offer from elsewhere. Or this offer could just be, you know, you. Loving on yourself. Releasing the burdens, healing, and moving on. Setting yourself free of this person. Anything else for Scorpio? Yeah, karmic relationship in reverse. And the upright is fleeting, triggers, turmoil, resentment, lessons, letting go, and loving you. Uh, if you're still holding on to this is a karmic relationship. This is a relationship that you're supposed to learn your lesson from, move on from, so that you can move towards stability here. With the paradise, happiness, expansion, joy, playfulness, oneness, enjoying each other. After this lesson here, you're going to be stepping into this happiness energy. Like vacationing more, traveling more, you know, just enjoying your life. Enjoying uh, being around people that have genuine love for you here. This is not an ending. It's just a new beginning. It may be the ending of this chapter, but there's a new chapter starting for you, Scorpio. Endings bring new beginnings, growth, change, liberation, and transition. You're just transitioning to a new um, part of your life, a new phase of your life here. And that's okay. That is okay. You're going to be happy here. What, what else is to come? Let's see. Let's see if I can get that. What else is to come for Scorpio? And this new energy. What else is to come for Scorpio? And this new energy, this new phase. Baby, what you want? Security, loyalty, commitment, groundedness, money, stability, financial growth, good memories, six of cups energy, good memories, new memories. Yeah, this can represent nostalgic, but it's like also that childlike energy here. This is family, support, kindness. Playfulness, innocence. This is good energy that's coming in for you here. Seven of Cups, the Devil, Page of Pentacles. Yeah, releasing all of this. Releasing the illusions, the toxic toxicity, the codependency, addictions. You know, whatever this is here. Releasing all of this. No longer accepting this. Putting, putting your... Accepting good news and putting your, your pentacles elsewhere. And this is what you're going to get. The king of pentacles energy. That's good. What's to come for Scorpio with this coffin energy? What's the good stuff coming for Scorpio? What's the good stuff? Played out. Bad reputation. Okay. In reverse. Bad reputation is in reverse. So no longer dealing with the players, the people with the dirty offers, you know, seeing it for what it is, no longer accepting the lies. Okay, the bad karma is here too. You know, release them and let the karma let karma have free will, do what they please to them. What's the coffin? Yeah, you may be alone, but never you may be alone, but don't ever expect that you're lonely. You always have somebody with you here. But this is also you, you leaving these people out. From your jackpot. They don't they don't get to celebrate with you. They shouldn't get to celebrate with you. They should be able to watch it from the outside looking in. Like outside the club can't get in type of energy. Don't let them enjoy this new life with you. They don't deserve it. Reflecting. And let them think about how they, you know, breadcrumbed you. Or how they didn't pour into you. Or give you the stability and security that you deserved. Let them feel the, feel the, the lack energy. What's the coffin? Because that's their karma. 
Yeah, a dirty offer. And let them take that dirty offer somewhere. Let, let them know that you're not accepting that. That you know you deserve more. You're more high valuable than that, than what they have to offer. And let them take this little dirty offer elsewhere. This is letting them setting the stage and letting them know, I don't accept dirty offers. I don't accept half-hearted offers, acting cold. You become the one that's cold and detached and releasing them here so that you can heal and move forward so that you know that you'll be going towards exactly what it is that you deserve, which is this King of Pentacles energy, which is the security. So it's good stuff coming in, Scorpio. I see it. It's good stuff coming in. You just got to release whatever this is here. This is lack energy, breadcrumbing energy, accepting the bare minimum, you know, you showing up for them, but they're half halfway showing up for you. You deserve more than that. So this is what I have for you, Scorpio. I hope it gives you clarity and insight. Appreciate y'all so much for watching. Catch y'all in the next video. Bye, guys. <laughs>